right, we got Dred Scott in the building. I want to thank you. Appreciate you coming for to do this little interview with us, man. Let's know what you got going on. No doubt, man. Just chilling, um, working on some music. Same old, same old. So this since this is our first time chopping it up with you. We just want to start from the beginning. Let us know, you know, where you from, what you repping, you know, how you got in, how, how was your upbringing, and how you got into the music thing. So let's start off like where I'm from. I'm originally from Huntsville, Alabama. Um, I grew up there for most of my life. Um, my mom and my stepdad, they, um, he was in the military, PCS to Germany, and from Germany we came here. And I've probably been in the music since, I don't know, probably since I can remember. Uh, started off by like watching Michael Jackson and Prince videos, stuff like that. And then, Teenage years kind of got into um, like hip hop, like Dr. Dre, Snoop, stuff like that. And I mean, it just took off from there. I used to want to sing, but <laughs> I ain't got the chops for it. So I um, started like writing down my own lyrics and went from there. Well, when, when, what year was that when you started like writing down your own lyrics and putting it together? I don't remember what year, but I know I was probably about 16 years old. Okay. I know I saw in your other interview you were talking about um, how the chronic had influenced you a lot. And yeah. I definitely feel that, man. I feel the same way, man. It's a huge album, man, what Dre did on there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, the chronic to me is probably two albums I can say are just hip hop masterpieces. And that's probably the chronic and to pimp a butterfly by Kendrick Lamar. Like, okay. The chronic, as far as like shifting the whole genre like turning the whole genre upside down with what hip hop could be. And I feel like To Pimp a Butterfly did the same thing just in a modern time. I remember when um To Pimp a Butterfly came out and people were saying that. I I, I ran through it maybe once or twice. I'm like to go back and revisit yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And people never gave it the credit it deserved because I don't know. Like, because it was so unhip hop, but it was so hip hop at the same time, if that makes sense. Like, do, do you think Kendrick get the credit he deserves altogether? I feel like he does, but at the same time, he doesn't. I feel like Kendrick Lamar, and shout out to him because he's a fellow Gemini, but I feel like he's misunderstood in some yeah. cases. And I feel like people don't really. Um, they don't really understand it all together, like how he could be on one side of the spectrum and then on the completely opposite on the same song. And people feel that way about all people that are complex, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, what brought you from Alabama up to North Carolina? Uh, military. Military. Like, stepdad right. was in the military, and um, like I said, we flew to Germany um, back in 2011. Mm -hmm. And then when he. When we um, left Germany, we came up here. Gotcha. So. That's dope. So what's Sanford like? What is what is it like out there? Is that is that what you're repping or are you more repping? Because <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty much just repping everywhere. Like I don't really like even in Huntsville. Like we kind of moved around a lot, like yeah. on the outskirts and stuff like that. So like, I mean, I, if anybody asks, I kind of say Huntsville just because I feel like that city doesn't get the shine it deserves. Like, a lot of people, when they think about Alabama, they think of dirt roads and shit yeah. like that. Like, they don't realize, like, it's actual cities out there. And to be honest, like, Huntsville is kind of like Fayetteville. In fact, it's more like Raleigh or Charlotte, like, depending on what part you're in. But, um, but to answer your question about what Sanford is, like, boring. Gotcha. <laughs> Ain't nothing going on out there. Like, um, like, it's, it's, the best way I can describe is like a whole a uh, lot of um, excuse me, military retired folks to go out there to kind of chill out and whatnot and they come to Fayetteville for whatever they need for the day that they need and whatnot. That's dope. That's dope. So you kind of repping Huntsville, Alabama and repping Carolina at the same time. And we, yeah. def we definitely embrace you because you're definitely making the crazy music. Thank you, man. 